Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watts Collection. Today what I want to talk about is the equation of time. And there are certain watches that keep the equation of time. And in order to understand it, um, it it's, it's important to understand that the whole concept of time was originally... Uh, brought about by what's called solar time. And this is where the sun is, uh, what you see on a sundial. Uh, essentially, uh, what it is, is that you have the, depending on where you are on the globe and what time of uh, year it is, uh, the sun is going to be more or less uh, at a certain point at a certain time. Now, in solar time, that means it's the perfect time. Wherever you are, I mean, whatever the time is, is what it's supposed to be according to solar time. On the other hand, what we find is with what I'll call clock time, the, 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 the time is an average or mean. You've heard of uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is really an average of the times of the day depending on where the uh where the earth is on its <laughs> its rotation around the sun so it rotates on the axis and every time it rotates once that's one day or 24 hours and and each trip around the sun is 12 months or 360 days or 365 days actually and again that's a that's also a mean average uh and every four years we have to fix it up with leap years we have to add another day to it so anyway so that's what i want to talk about today is the whole concept of the equation of time in order to really uh i think understand the equation of time it helps to to have a a sundial and i think it helps even more so if you, if you build one yourself uh i have sort of enhanced it a little over there and have a picture of it uh out in the sun but it's very simple to do uh you simply take a protractor and you draw a little curve and at the very top is 12 o'clock and then over on, let's see, the, uh, here it's 6 a.m. and here it's 6 p.m. So that's, uh, the reason behind that is that you can, you have something to tell solar time with. And it's as good as anything. Now there are different levels of quality that there are in sundials. Mine, I got from the British Sundial Society. I had no idea there was such an institution, but of course there is. Okay, so uh, one of the things about the sundial is that you'll find out that the each one of the numbers on your, either on your watch and on the sundial clock that you're making, whoops, um, each one of those is 15 degrees and so you start off with six at the very top and seven eight nine ten eleven and then right at the very top of where the protractor had drawn you have 12 and then you have and you go on to one two three four five and then six now that's a half a day of course, the only time you can use a sundial is when the sun's out, so it's really all you need. Uh, you orient the uh, the 12, 12 o'clock to the north, and you're all set uh, for business. Uh, this particular picture here was taken uh, a little after, well, sometime between 9 and 10 o'clock. Now, remember, this is the solar time. The time on my watch is the mean time. So when they sort of work out from that. Now, uh, and looking, another view of this is that uh, on the, it's, it's called the parent social uh, solar time. And then you have mean solar time, which is what your, what your watch shows. 
And uh, think of it this way, over on the, the right side there, you see these uh, three little balls, numbered one, two, and three. Uh, they represent the Earth, and then of course you have that big yellow sun. And depending on where you are, the sun's going to hit the Earth at a different angle. Depending on the angle that it hits it at, it's going to show up on the sundial. So, if, think of it this way. Um, solar time is the calculation of the passage of time based on the position of the sun in the sky. That's pretty easy. The fundamental unit of solar time is the day based on the synodic rotation period. Okay, in other words, this is that we were showing before with the Earth going around. And so the two types of solar time are the apparent, that's what you can see on your handy-dandy uh, sundial, and then your apparent and your mean solar time is what you see on your watch. Okay, now this is the equation of time refers to this difference between the two. And what you end up with is that you end up with a mean. Now, here's a chart uh, with the, uh, the equation of time, the apparent uh, solar time compared to the mean solar time. Now, the sort of that green line that goes through the middle of the chart, that's your watch time. In other words, you look at your watch, and uh, these, this is over uh, a period of days, or 365 days in a year. And so if you go from, uh, from left to right on the chart, uh, you'll see the blue curve, and that shows what the sundial time is. And the, as you, the further out you go, you'll see the days of the year. So you're, you're going to see this kind of curve because the watch time is really the mean time of all of those different positions. I mean, if you take one, you put a number to it, and you add them up and divide it by the sum of the numbers, you're going to end up with a mean, and that's what mean time is. Now, uh, this is with the watch time as a constant. Now, here uh, you have your, this is your sun, your sun time, your solar time is, and this is your watch time. So the right in, in the middle of the chart where it says zero, your watch time is going to be faster or slower than uh, the uh, solar time. And you can see at the bottom, January, February, and so forth, it depends on what, uh, what month it is. Probably one that most people know is that from December 21st to June 21st, the days get longer. And from June 21st to December 20, uh, 21st, uh, the days get shorter. So right now, here we are on October 6th, uh, so the days are getting, getting a bit shorter. Okay, now, th the final thing that we can look at to understand the equation of time is a chart. Now, here's a chart that has, up at the top, it has August 1st, and it says minus 6 minutes and 21 seconds. Okay, so if you, if you look at uh, that chart, what you'll see is that in August, the, the time of the sun looks to be slower by 6 minutes and 21 seconds. That's what the minus is for. And then if you look at uh, October 7th, uh, you'll see that the uh, you're 12 minutes and 10 seconds faster uh, than your watch. Your watch time shows 12 o'clock and your sundial would show 12, 12, because 12 minutes. So that's, that's part of the, the equation of time. Okay, now, if you look at all of these charts and everything, it's, <laughs> you know, how are you ever going to do that? Well, there are watches that will provide the equation of time, and they will show you what, at the current date, what the time is. Now, the problem with these watches it's that they're expensive. I, I don't mean like a little expensive. I mean really expensive. There are some good deals on ones, and we'll look at them. Uh, for example, the Breguet Marine Equation, uh, Marchante 5887, is 200, I think it's $215,000, <laughs> which is like, for a Breguet Marine, that's a lot. Not a, for any watch, that's a lot. Now, F.P. Jorn, Astronomic Souverain, 
uh, that watch is just, it's, it's really incredible. Uh, they, the equation of time they put on the back of the watch and looking at the gears and everything and the movement on the back of that, that's, that's worth a look in itself. Um, and then on the front, they have some, uh, a couple hand dates and uh, time is almost incidental uh, to the watch. Uh, okay, um, here are a couple more. Now, these, both of these are more in line. I think they're run around between 10 and 20,000. Not cheap, don't get me wrong. Um, on the left is a Gerard Perigo, 1966, annual calendar and equation of time. And right around between 4 and 5 o'clock, you'll see a little, uh, a little dial. And in the middle of the dial is zero. And then you have 5, 10, and so forth to the right. And then the negative numbers are to the left, 5, 10, 15, so forth. Uh, these show the equation of time. On the uh, Luminor Panerai GMT, it's right above the six o'clock. You'll see a little thing that says equation, and that will show either to the left or to the right uh, where you are relative to the equation of time. It's another watch that they're, they're both of these are, are fairly expensive compared to your run of the mill watches. Now, these two watches, uh, you have what I'll call <laughs> reality and unreality. Uh, in 1989, Longines came out with a very complicated watch called the Ephraimides Solari uh, on the reference numbers uh, 5235. Now, why did Longines of all people come out with such a complex watch? Well, it was their 100th anniversary, and so they thought they better come out with something really nice. And I ha I've looked at this watch for a lot, and uh, the equation of time is there's a blue line on the bezel. And if you look at the blue line, you'll see some little hatch marks, and then there's a little black line in the, in the middle. Now, the black line it represents your mean time, and the blue line represents the solar time. And so looking at those little hatches, you sort of, you can move it around, I guess, and decide, well, uh, you know, this, this is the time right now, and then you work it one way or the other. Um, this watch is complex, period. But one thing about it, it's fairly affordable. I think you can find some good buys on these under, well, around 2,000, uh, maybe even a little less. Now, the Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Equation of Time. Love this watch. Now, it's hard to see in the picture there, but there's one of the hands is a, it goes out and on the tip of it, this is over about 8 o'clock, uh, there's a little sun. And you'll see the sun, there's 0, and then it has plus 5, plus 10, uh, plus 15 along the edge from about, 11 o'clock over to about uh, five o'clock uh, along the side of the uh, side of the face. And that's its uh, <laughs> equation of time. Again, this is a, a extremely expensive watch. Now here two more. Both of these are within what I call hand, hand grenade <laughs> distance. Um, First of all, is the Martin Braun EOS Boreas. Now, if you're interested in, in this watch, you have to be careful because there's some like it that aren't quite the same. They they have the sun up and sun down, but and they with these two crossing uh, hands. <clears throat> but the equation of time is that little uh, half circle right under the date, under the 12. You'll see 12 and then I'll have eight for the date. And then under there, there'll be a little gate. That's where the equation of time is. Um, the Jacques Hedro's uh, La Chute de Fonte equation of time. This, this one 
I really like. It's clean as a whistle. I'm not crazy. They, they have them, I think, other than black dials. It's hard for me to read black dials. Uh, but this one's, <laughs> I, would, I would not mind reading this one. You can see at about one o'clock, there's this little, little sunshine on the end of a, on the end of a uh, hand. And this is your equation of time. And to the right, it, it adds, it's, it's ahead. And on the left, it's behind. The uh, solar behind or ahead of the uh, mean time. Okay, now, both of these watches, like I said, these are in Hanganed uh, range. The Martin Braun EOS Boreas uh, is, is uh, both of these watches, I think, are, they're ones that are, they're still expensive, but they're, I mean, they're not $200,000. They're not the expense you're going to find with the, uh, most of the other ones. So anyway, uh, that's it for the equation of time. I hope this is something, it's pretty much something for collectors. I don't think the average Joe, I mean, in fact, the average collector probably doesn't either. Well, who cares? You know, basically. Well, I think understanding time is part of the hobby. And the more we understand it, Oh, the more fun we can have with it. Anyway, naturally, I'd like to very much like to hear what you have to say about it and your thoughts. And uh, if, naturally, if you have an equation of time watch, I'd like to hear about that too. And opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watts Collection.